What's going on guys, Master Turkey here, back with another video. This time, checking out some stuff on the 2600X, my living room PC. I was kind of hoping to drive home the point that RPCS3 isn't the only thing you can use a 2600X for. With the last video, the 2600X versus RPCS3, I didn't mean it to sound like a diss towards the 2600X. It just was what it was. I tested those games and the results I posted, and people took it the way they took it, I guess. Especially on Reddit, one person decided to get his panties in a bunch, like, pretty bad. He was super butthurt about it. No idea why. But uh, I actually own both an Intel... 8700K and an AMD 2600X. I'm not a fanboy of either. I chose to build the 2600X because of the cost point and the gaming performance, you know, the value that came with it. But uh, I do want to show you a couple of games that I've been playing. This video is just going to be Devil May Cry 5. However, uh, another video in the future, I think I'm going to do uh, the other games that I've been playing. I'll put those up as well. So, unfortunately, I didn't have the FPS counter on the first video that I took, but I have it on the second video. And I'm trying to avoid spoilers or anything like that. So, But I guess to drive home the point, too, like you don't really need an FPS counter if you're looking at the FPS counter and you're not playing the game, I think you're doing it wrong. You know, I think if you're noticing screen tearing or the huge FPS drops and it's preventing you from playing the game, then fine. You know, that's that's great. Then maybe you need to drop some settings. Maybe you need to upgrade your rig. Oh, good God. And it's doing just fine at 4K. It hits uh, about probably... 50 to 55 frames per second on average, sometimes even staying at 60 for a long period of time. So again, that doesn't prevent the game from being playable. Please just enjoy gaming. Let's take a look at some gameplay.
Yeah. <laughs> 